Looking forward to a custom room which is as similar as with Pixel Experience. If you're also missing Pixel Experience, then try out this Genesis OS. This is also one of the renamed versions of the custom room. The previous name of this custom room was Proton Plus, and now it's renamed to Genesis OS. I made a video already on this version in, on this custom room's previous version. It's now here with the new version 2, the version 2.0, having the May security patch, the latest security patch. And as I just mentioned, the starting of the video if you are missing pixel experience this room could be an alternative for you because pixel experience like this one or basically this custom room is similar to pixel experience having stock android goodies which means you have all the pixel goodies available most of the pixel goodies actually it's not a customization focused custom room so we are not having any major customizations although still some useful things are there which we will talk about in this one as you can see similar kind of feeling uh, like you are using a google pixel device here the settings the settings ui status bar etc quick settings panel is kind of similar here some of the main highlights of this custom room includes a redesigned volume panel. If you are able to notice here, the volume panel is little bit redesigned as compared to the normal one because most of the times in every custom room, you have these options like silent vibration and these indicators at the top. But in this case, these things are at bottom and also the expanded volume panel is a little bit different as compared to the normal one. Also, if you move on to the settings, security and privacy, one of the best features, which is ignore window secure flags is finally here. So you can simply remove the screenshot and screen record limits for all the apps. And of course, this can be convenient in some cases, but may lead to privacy leaks. It's available in this custom room, which is actually quite good. And as long as we are using this custom room, it also supports app locker. These things are not available by default. I mean, this app locker is not available in the default launcher so because the default launcher is pixel launcher if you want to use app locker it's there inbuilt you can also hide the apps from launcher of course pixel launcher does not support hiding apps from launcher by default but because this app locker already has these options available so that's quite good also another cool thing about this custom room is that the gestures sensitive gesture navigation sensitivity you will find the ime space hiding the ime space option available to be very honest with you, I've already shared this thing because this is one of my favorite features available in a custom room. This is the one I'm talking about. The space below keyboard. By default, there's a space below keyboard. And even if you use pixel based custom rooms, we still have the space below keyboard. But in this case, that's a very, very useful thing that you can hide the IME space below the keyboard. And this is how the layout is looking like. As it is not a customization focused custom room, still we are having some very useful things available. For example, if you want to customize the fonts, of course, it does not consist of a lot of fonts, but only few of them or all of these are quite interesting one. It also supports some icon shape, which was kind of expected, of course. Including the icon shape, we have the option for icon pack, which does not bring you the PUI or the Xperia ones, but that's completely okay. Icon manager is also there and as expectedly, there is no Volte Vo Wi-Fi icon present, which was kind of expected in pixel based custom rooms. It also supports a data usage option in the quick settings panel. If you enable this option, you will see the daily data usage in the quick settings footer. New refresh rate page. This is the one which was introduced, I guess, one update ago. It is already available in other custom rooms. So it's not a unique thing, although, but it's present. So I just wanted to let you know. As we were talking about some pixel goodies, so as expectedly, it's having the pixel launcher pre-installed. It's not the modded one. It's a normal official pixel launcher, which is included. The quick settings panel is in the dark shade doesn't matter if you use a light mode or dark mode the quick settings panel will still be in the dark shade some of you might like this some of you might not it's of course user's preference but one thing if you move on to the wallpapers and style section you will see it supports ai wallpaper so as i just mentioned at the starting of the video it supports all the pixel goodies most of the pixel goodies so we have ai wallpaper support already included you don't need anything else to configure it because it's already available by default and also because I found in some of the custom rooms, AI wallpapers are present, but some in some cases that doesn't work. But in this case, let's just try it out. I tried all the things there, all the combinations. If I try to create a wallpaper, let's see if it will create or not because I didn't tested it before this video actually. 
but yes after testing it as as you can see this is the output which is generated which means ai wallpapers are working fine including these ai wallpapers and pixel goodies we are having the circle to search support too so that's quite amazing all the features are present here if you want to know more about this or if you want to install this custom room link for all the supported devices is already available in the description thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one take care